Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. A Westland man is accused of trying to meet up with an underage girl for sex in Monroe County. A task force arrested him at the Mall of Monroe Wednesday afternoon following an undercover operation. 40-year-old Christopher Frank is charged with child sexually abusive activity using a computer to commit a crime and accosting a child for immoral purposes. The judge set his bond at $500,000. If he's released, he must wear a GPS tether. The impact of the ongoing microchip shortage on the global automotive industry could be more expensive than first feared. According to a new report, the crisis will cost automakers $210 billion. That is nearly double the original estimate. The trickle-down effect causing 7.7 .7 million fewer vehicles produced, leading to empty lots and higher prices for you, the customer. All right, six lucky winners of classic Corvettes will get in the driver's seat Friday at Motorbella in Pontiac. A group called the Corvette Heroes has been raising money to help military veterans by raffling off 36 classic vets, which were once owned by legendary pop artist Peter Max. Friday's group is the fourth round of winners. The remaining cars will be given away at two more events this year. How cool is that? All right, Beacon Park in downtown Detroit is getting ready for the return of Delectricity. The free one-of-a-kind music festival kicks off on Friday night. More than 40 artists from all over the U.S., as well as Australia, France, Germany, and Japan will take the stage this weekend. Face masks are encouraged, and hand sanitizer stations will be set up around the venue. Enjoy. All right, let's get a check on the weather now with Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with your 7 First Alert forecast. Rexy? What a difference a day makes. Partly to mostly sunny Friday. The sun is back. The temperatures go up to 71. That's about where we should be in the low 70s. I know there's going to be some showers Saturday morning, but it's not going to be as bad as it has been. That's for sure. Only in the morning. Then the sun works its way back out in the afternoon. Sunday is dry, and so is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Next week, sunshine dry in mid-70s.